Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. I am doing a Discord jam session with Mike. Say hey, Mike. Hey. What's the news in Mike land? Oh, not much. Just working on a Labor Day. That's how we do <laughs> That's right. Get to labor in, Mike. <laughs> well, we're both in the same boat, man. So we're working on these uh, Deathcore Lehman Russi. So there you go. Uh, not done yet. Pro tip, if you're going to put white on something, put down light gray first. That's what that palette looks like. So anyway, yeah, we've got uh, the infantry over here. Yep. So anyway, going to do a vid of those when they're done. Oh, and I got these neat little, like, boxes and put my books in them. So I think that looks pretty awesome. Yep, working on my Age of Sigmar book collection. And uh, also, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, look at the rest of this. Isn't that great? Haha, -ha, love that. Looks good, feels good. So anyway, um, I was going to say, oh, I'm having some Labor Week specials, so check those out. I can just paste them into the liner notes. And uh, oh yeah, we got, um, I put this stuff up on the web store. So, Chaos, some Tau, um, yeah, mostly Chaos stuff, actually. Um, think about a couple of Lord of the Rings kits. And, um, oh yeah, I want to show you my um, Morgasts. So anyway, yeah, this doesn't look the best. Let me just clear a spot here. Ah, that's my kit, by the way. That's awesome. Makes me happy inside. Oh yeah, and my paints. Love my paints. So anyway, so here's more guests, and these are on the Z. Let me get rid of this light. We'll shine it in Mike's face. <laughs> um, so this is the Xenomorph bases that BTP owns, and which, by the way, I have like 50 molds for that line that can be purchased on the web store, but it's it's all or nothing. So, anyway, so these guys are, I'm going to say, hands down, the most complicated kit that I put together. I put together two of them. This guy still needs his weapon on. I'm still working on that. I want to do some, like, Tomb kings -y conversions on these guys. But I think they're great in the game. They've got great models. And <clears throat> so for the bases, it's going to be pretty subdued. It's going to be uh, blackish charcoal. But these spine-like features, which are, like, alien gooey cords or whatever uh well that's what they're supposed to be but i'm going to paint them as if they're bone like they're their spines growing out of the out of the ground i'm pretty sure i'm going to be doing uh bone and purple and like bluish colors on these guys and i've been working on a neferata to lead this army so i've got um i want to have Four Age of Sigmars ready for Age of Sigmars Age of Sigmar armies ready for Valhalla in early October, and uh, they are available for pre-sale uh, right now. So there's that, and uh, so this is her, and she's kind of a Tomb Kings type thing. And the thing is, in Age of Sigmar, uh, Tomb Kings have the death keyword in them, so they kind of fall into Grand Alliance death but they weren't in the book because Tomb King's models have been discontinued. But I happen to have a bunch of War Sphinxes, uh, I think five or six of them, and so, yeah, those are going in the army, and she certainly, uh, thematically, she fits, and I think she's a cool general, definitely a cool model. Uh, I did use a different collar. I used the collar from one of the other guys. You get a lot of great extras in this kit, but this kit is extremely hard to put together, like, even the pictures of how to do it don't explain it well enough. You know, like, it's really hard to figure out how it three-dimensionally goes together. I'm going to be converting up some um, Jabber Slides, because the published model is awful. But in the meantime, I'm standing in this cockatrice. And uh, there you go. So, this is, uh, this is good stuff, guys. I'm having a good time. And <laughs> Mike, do you have any comments? Do you wanna do you wanna chime in? 
No, I feel like I'm doing all the it talking. It was fun listening to you. Valhalla sounds exciting. Totally it does sound exciting. It's yeah, going to be good. It's a full something. house there. Wow. I think it's like 40 or 50 people coming out. That sounds great. Yeah. That's a lot, by the way, for a Valhalla thing. Sweet. Yep. Exciting. So, and, so check the liner notes. I'm going to put some news that I have there and I'd like about terrain making and stuff like that. I know I haven't been putting up a lot of videos and it's just one of those things that kind of has to flow from the heart, you know, and yeah, I mean, the operation is very, very efficient right now. And yeah, when artists, because I have artists coming every day and projects coming through, but, uh, you know, I, what I need to do is just do a video, like, every time. So, that's the objective. And, yeah, I guess if you have any questions, put them in the liner notes. And um, I'll keep you posted on building my own armies. So, oh, yeah, so I'm building a build. I have the, uh, the Nurgle Rot Bringers. Those are done. And I've got... Um, Oh my gosh, what is it? The Death Lords, the undead army I just showed you. And, and I already have plans for that. Like, I have the models for the Death Lords already. That's done. And I have plans to bring them all. To, they're going to be at least at 1,500. So I'm doing them like at 1,500, and then I'm going to boost them up to 2,000. Even though I found out in the game, if you're doing pointed games, according to how it's written, it's only 1,000, 2,000, or 2,500. Like, those are the points that you play at. And it's interesting uh, because, you know, you depending on what type of game you're going to play, it really changes the complexion of it. So anyway, and then Oryx, and I made some inroads into that. And um, what's the last one? No, I know what this is. Sylvaneth. So uh, for the most part, I'm going to be assembling and painting these all myself. And I got to tell you, it feels good feels really good and it feels right to uh, to get back to doing doing the hobby actually getting my getting my hands on there so anyway thanks for tuning in and I'm hoping to do more videos BTP is very much alive and kicking we got a lot of stuff coming through we have 80 projects on the docket some are going out some are coming in uh, I think that's it okay thanks for tuning in and I hope you got your inspiration for the day